Hey guys, it's Guy Sixth here. Welcome back to more Let's Play 2. Uh, not Tomb Raider. <laughs> Silent Hill 3. <clears throat> oh dear. Oh. Yeah, sorry if um, my voice sounds a little weird. It's because I've not long been woken up. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to record this early for you guys. Because um, I have not recorded uh, part 2 of Silent Hill 2 yet. That's what I'm doing. Silent 3, for God's sake. That's what I'm doing now. Right, um. Let's see what we've got here. We have nothing to work with right now. Okay, let's go. Ooh, so, um, how old are you guys? Uh, yeah. Um, just thought I'd ask that. Okay, there's something down here. Right, let's go all the way up here now. Ooh, run, 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 Heather. I love the way she runs in this game, it's really funny. <laughs> Not as bad as uh, James from Silent Hill 2, though. That's just hilarious. Right, let's open window. Where is it? What the hell? Ah, there's a window! Let's open one. This one? No. This one? No. Wait, don't you not- do you not go in a window? I thought you did. Okay, then never mind. <coughs> so, we are in the mall, guys. We are trying to get away from Douglas. So basically, we just gotta go around and basically, like, check every single door until something happens. And now my dog's barking, that's brilliant. Right. Um, we need to actually get into the mall, um, and we need to get some keys and stuff to unlock some shit, as always, in Silent Hill. Nothing different there. But yeah, we should be able to meet someone special soon. Um, which is going to be very big on the plot of this game. So I'm going to be quiet because there's a cutscene now. <coughs> How is this thing? Wow, that that thing was just like raping that guy over there. That is disgusting. What does she have to say about this? I can't tell from here that here that it's dead. Should I call the police? Not like they'd believe me if I said someone has been killed by a monster. This is very true, Heather. Very true indeed. Oh, handgun bullets, yes. Right, let's reload our handgun actually. Right, and we don't want to get the knife because we don't want the handgun just yet. There's no need for it. Definitely not human. I've never heard such of an animal, and no way is it a costume. It sounds crazy when you say it, but monster is the only word for it. But I don't think I'm crazy. I think you are, Heather, personally. Right. Um, let me just check something. <clears throat> okay, if you guys didn't know, um, you can normally, f like, figure out if there's anything in this room, uh, worth, like, looking for. By the way, Heather moves her head. Um, because in Silent Hill, um, I know for Silent Hill 2 and 3, I'm not sure about 1, or, like, the other ones, but, um, the characters move their head to new, like, items and stuff. I got the shopping mall map. Yeah, they kind of like move their heads to items and stuff, but I'm not sure if that's for all games, but it's definitely the case for this one. So always look for um, Heather's movement of her head and stuff like this. Okay. Let's go out here. Ooh, staircase. Right. I just want to say this um, mall is qu kind of a long area. 
Um, I don't want the video for being too long, but do expect a long part. So this will kind of make up for me missing it, guys. But um, the fish will reach out, I'm just going to move around you. So, um, we don't want to be here just yet. Let's go out. Wait, no, 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 go back here. We do actually want to be there. Yeah, um, I did say in the first part that I wasn't going to get out spoilers. But I'm actually going to tell you what some of the monsters actually mean. Um, for anyone that doesn't know Silent Hill, um, the monsters normally sig um, like signify some of the stuff about the main character. Um, them fish things we saw, I'm um, not really sure what they're supposed to like mean. But the big tall things that we thought of um, our hang guys trying to chase me now, um, they represent a female body. Um, and if you notice on the end of their arms, they got like lips on their like hands. Um, that's supposed to represent. Don't hold me to this because everything that's supposed to be symbolised in Silent Hill is completely up for interpretation. You can think what you want, but um, I personally think it's trying to represent um, Heather's first time having sex. Um, if you understand what I'm trying to go for. Um, yeah, because there's a lot of stuff about her smoking, um, having sex, uh, being pregnant, because it all fits in with the storyline, which we'll get out uh, later on. Um, I'm trying to kill this dog, because I want to show you guys something. It's annoying me. Die, dog. Wow. Life sucks really bad. <laughs> yeah, so you got these dogs, and uh, obviously they're really easy to represent. They're dogs in bandages, and they have split um, heads open. Um, there's kind of three things, but I want to let me just um, tell you what beef jerky is used for. Um, beef jerky is pretty useless, actually. Um, I've never actually used it, but it does distract dog enemies. Um, but I've never used it because I normally just go over there and kill them. Um, yeah, so that's what that's used for. But yeah, the dogs um, have split heads, bandages, and obviously the dogs. So first obvious one is Heather was some time in her life afraid of dogs. Um, so yeah, that's pretty easy. So the dogs in bandages, um, the, she was obviously scared of getting burnt or something. Um, I think that sort of has something to do with Alyssa. Um, but I don't want to get into that because I'm not 100% sure on the whole Silent Hill story. So I don't sort of want to, like, say anything wrong. Um, you can always look it up on Wikipedia. Let me just exclaim this. My best sound is okay. I know where that goes. Yeah, look it up on Wikipedia if you're really interested. Because I'm really interested in Silent Hill. Um, and obviously the third one was Um, we, I hope, well, not hope, but, um, I bet you guys have heard the phrase, like, um, split personality or two face well, basic, ba basically <laughs> basically that's what it stands for being two faced or um, have a having a split personality I'm not quite sure where that links in but I think it links in with, um, okay there's a major spoiler here guys so if you don't want to hear it please pause the video now um, Heather is actually made up of two people um, Heather's made up of Cheryl and Who's the other person? Cheryl and I think it's Alyssa. And uh, yeah, Cheryl is um, basically to hide Sh um, Heather from the religious cult on Silent Hill, um, they gave her a new identity. And that's basically who it is. Her original self is actually um, Cheryl. So yeah. Um, hang on a second, I'm just trying to do this puzzle. Yeah, so that's who Heather is. She's made up of two people. But um, I hope that I didn't spoil that much for you guys. Wait, what is this? Seriously? Right, okay. Ah, oh, I hate this puzzle. It sucks. <clears throat> Basically, you got to rearrange stuff until you get a code for the door. That's wrong. Okay. Um, this one. Not that one. That one there. Oops. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, no, no, no. Shit. Okay. 0416. Oh, 
you can't really see the one because it's sort of in the crack. That's what she said. But <laughs> it's definitely there. Trust me. Okay, zero four one six. If not, we're gonna have to rearrange it. Zero four one six. Yay! Okay, there we go. Let's continue. Oh, cutscene. Shh. Um, hey, wait, what's going on? Where is everybody? Those weird monsters. They've come to witness the beginning. The rebirth of paradise. Unspoiled by mankind. What are you talking about? Don't you know? Your power is needed. How should I know? I am Claudia. So what? Remember me. And your true self as well. Also, that which you must become. The one who will lead us to paradise with blood-stained hands. Claudia, right? Did you do all this? It was the hand of God. Migraine. Wait. I don't get it. What does she want me to remember? So in that cutscene we sort of learn a bit more about um, Heather. Um, sh um, if you know, oh, wrong door. If you notice Claudia says something about your true self, um, yeah, I won't say it. But if people actually did watch the spoiler, then you know what that means. Um, if you didn't, then you can just wait till we find out what that means. Um, yeah. Uh, right, where are we at? Where are we heading? I think we're gonna follow Cla Claudia. Ugh. Sorry. Uh, God, everything's broken. Shit. I was gonna say sorry. I can't remember what she was gonna say now. Um, let's talk about something not Silent Hill now. Um, I actually, I don't know if you guys know, but I have the Tomb Raider trilogy collection for the PlayStation. Uh, ah, yeah, this is the HD collection of Silent Hill three and two. Um, for any of you who didn't know, if you're just tuning in now, um. I also have the Tomb Raider Trilogy HD collection, and, um, oh, wait, yeah, let's examine. There are no buttons for this elevator. That's very strange. Yeah, um, and I was up, like, oh God, what time was it? I think it was about quarter to one, playing Tomb Raider Anniversary, and I actually platinumed it. Like, I got all the achievements trophy things, and, um, I got a radio. And I was playing it with Leza 2112, and it was just so funny. Uh, it was just a real good laugh, so yeah. Oh, cutscene. Ah! Right. <laughs> Is this a dream? It's gotta be. Ah! What's that door? It looks like skin. It's disgusting. <laughs> That, that actually makes me feel sick. Like, it just makes me feel sick. Like, I don't know what, what it is, but it just. I even keep ugh. Believing this. It's just really sickening some of the things in this game. When am I gonna wake up? Ew, what is that? I actually know what that is, but I will. I'm actually going to leave that explanation to the end of the game, because it make it'll make more sense. Um, make more sense if I leave it to the end of the game, because I can show you. Right, right look at the dog evil. Oh, this is so annoying. We're going to get our new weapon in a minute, anyway. So we got to just stop. be a lot of map checking in here guys, I will say that. Yes, it's completely useless. So I'm checking my map again. Ah, 
but at least I never get lost, that's a good thing. I never get lost in, in Cyberpunk 3 because uh, one, I played it loads of times and two, I used it one time. hope that one is open. That's all you can do. We should be finding a very, very useful item soon, actually. I'm not actually quite sure what door that's in. I think it's around here somewhere. Yeah, so... Let's see if we find it. <laughs> is this it? Nope. Just tons of health drinks and stuff. Um, oh, an ampoule! Yes! That is the best healing lighting in the game, and they're quite rare, actually. Um, normally I go through the whole game not even using one, but I normally get about five or six by the end of the boss fight, so yeah, they're pretty rare. Dogs still munching, that's disgusting. <sighs> I don't even know where we're going now, <laughs> I'm honest. Oh shit. Oh god. Shit. Right, let's go left and search stuff. Oh god, it's more. Let's just go because that is what we need. Dark corridor scares shit out of me. Um, by the way, if it looks like it's lagging, ah, here we are. Let's turn the lights off. Oh, what's this? A flashlight. If it looks like it's lagging, guys, um, it's not you. It's actually the game. Um, I don't know if it was in the original copy, but um. Cyber Hill 3 lags sometimes when like, enemies are like near. Um, I'm not sure, like, I don't know. What the hell? Door's closed. Oh my god, someone's in there. Oh my god, it's opened. For oh, fuck's sake. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh! <laughs> it's soaking with blood, but there's no one here. Did it, someone respond or was it just me? That is disgusting. The hell. It's full of filthy and muddy water. It looks like something's stopping it. Will you remove the blockage? Cool music. <laughs> Ugh, no. Forget it. This is way too gross. <laughs> For anyone who's played Silent Hill 2, you know what, what that means. Who would even think of doing something so disgusting? <laughs> For anyone who's played Silent Hill 2, there's a little Easter egg for you. Right. Let's continue. Um, I think we need to go right down to the end, I believe. To get a coat hanger or something, which we'll see what that's useful, guys. Um, yeah, I think it's a coat hanger. Oh, no, no. Ah! Hello. It's back in this boutique shop. Oh, that monster. Um, it's a bit dark now, but there's a coat hanger here, so grab that. And also here, there is a bulletproof vest. Like this thing she's looking at. You can pick it up and you can wear it, and it will reduce damage done but to you. But um, I'm personally not going to wear it because um, it slows you down and she runs really, really slow. So I'm not going to bother with it. And you guys could probably had like a jump, but it didn't do anything to me. So haha. -ha, I, I think there's one bit in this game that actually scares the shit out of me. And for that reason, I will not be showing it to you because I am, what it does, I am seriously scared of. So I won't be showing it to you. Uh, but it's not till like, before the middle of the game. Oh my god. Closer rape. <laughs> Closer gangbang. <laughs> yeah, they're mostly from closest. I don't know if I said that, but they are. They're called closers. Right, okay, up there's a ladder. We got you. use the hanger. Oh, let me heal. Health drink. Oh, nice. Hanger. Use it. Oh, in the toilet as well, we, we picked up the bleach, which we're going to be using, a, um, like, not ages, but later in this section. Um, I think we need, the, like, the detergent or something. Um, but, yeah. <coughs> okay, let's go. Oh, 
gosh, it climbed so slow. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to have to end it here soon, guys. So I will have to find a save spot and uh, save it. I don't remember where the next save spot is, so we're just going to have to wander around. Is there one in here? Uh, ah, there's one here. Yay. Okay. We're going to be saving here, guys. Because it's getting 20 minutes now. Ah. Um, but don't worry, um, I promised you guys that um, it won't be like long this time. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to go pre-record some Tree Raider now. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you for more Sonic 2, 3, sorry, where we go and investigate the mall in the hell world. Thanks for watching.